This week on The Choice. We are heading to the bluegrass state and we're going to hunt some white-tailed deer with our good friend Ron Boot. We have everything loaded up and ready to go. We've got our bows, we've got our muzzle loaders, we've got a little bit of everything going on. Welcome to this week's The Choice, and this week, well, guess what? What? We are heading to the bluegrass state. Oh, so the grass is blue in Kentucky? Well, I, I think I saw that on a license plate. Bluegrass, I don't know. Kentucky. I mean, I know, like, Illinois land of Lincoln. I don't know. Is it bluegrass state? You sure? Anyways, we're going to head down to Kentucky, and we're going to hunt some white-tailed deer with our good friend, Ron Raboud. Maybe it was on a bumper sticker. Anywho, we have everything loaded up and ready to go. We are going to be, um, we've got our bows, we've got our muzzle loaders, we've got a little bit of everything going on, and we had an amazing trip down there. And, and Ron, thank you for the invite, and we're, let's go. we got lots to show. It could have been on a t-shirt. Oh my goodness. He could sit here all day. So we'll just start rolling the footage. Here. And that's my phone. I don't know, but it sounds like well we're in Kentucky and I hear an elk. It's not what we're hunting this week, we're hunting deer. Hello? Hello? Hey! There he is. Yeah. Oh buddy. Oh <laughs> you talked to Hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You guys made good time. We did make good time. Yeah. 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 Oh, Come on in. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. Huge. Dang. Look, we have a fire pit. I got one on camera since I left like this. Okay. okay. Almost his twin. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. And I, you yeah. know, I didn't score that much, but I'm going to guess he's mid to upper 140s when you put him in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rough score it. Yep. And then I got one on a, on a frame like this one, tall like oh. that, but a lot heavier. Oh, nice. Wow. And he, he he's just a less. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a sticker. But um, yeah, there's there's probably four. I haven't let anybody hunt the house piece yet until you guys got it. So yeah, baby. You got you got a clean <laughs> slate. Yep. Go on. You have to go first. Go on. Ladies I first. have to go first. Why? Look at this. We show up and Ron's got a home cooked meal ready for us. Yes. It was a quick one. Yeah, I came in, good. first thing I didn't even unload the car. You're like, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and go for it. Except I knew Ralph was on his diet and you were on your diet, so That's I, okay. on. I don't have no clue. It's okay. No, no, diets I are will just go healthy. Well, Ralph had at least peanut butter cup on the way down, so. Oh, and what, what about your mints? I had a bunch of butter mints. Okay. So the diet well, kind of went. Oh, we're Every, doing good. We can cheat once. Everything my wife doesn't allow me to eat is when you eat here. Is I'm going to some pictures of the house. I said this used to be the porch. Well, no. Excuse me. Was this the porch? Well, how many times you had on? <laughs> I'll show you a quick picture. <laughs> That's that goofy horn buck that I was showing you, where I said. Yeah, you couldn't see it from the other side. That, but he's he's a look at the body. He's he's a big mature deer. Hmm. He's a mature buck. Yep, he is. Oh yeah. yeah. That's more good. Oh my gosh. They're just yard markers. This is a goofy one. This is a goofy one. Yeah, it is. Um, his whole right side curves like, like hooks in. Yeah. This is another. This is pretty. And this is all. This is night before last. 
I think he's I think he's a shooter. He's got two good brow times on him there. Look at his belly. Yeah. Well, it's the first day of muscle loader season down here in Kentucky. We're still hunting with our Hoyt soap, but we have to wear orange, so that's the orange thing. Um, we're set up in a different area over a big food plot. There's a water hole in front of us also. We've already seen a couple small bucks, but it just started being shooting light, so we'll probably hear some muscle loader shots go off. But just keep our fingers crossed. We have an east northeast wind this morning. And um which Ron says that's kind of a normal wind around here. So he said we should be good to go here. We'll see how the morning goes. My shots are gonna be within 30 yards, which is awesome, especially sitting up from an elevated blind. So let's keep our fingers crossed, see what happens. Just nice. Just got in the blind. Get set up. Yesterday morning it was 13 degrees outside, now it's warm enough to go out in short sleeves. I have half of the amount of clothes on I had on even just this morning. Um, there's a front coming through this evening, it's going to rain for the next few days, so I'm really kind of hoping that we can get it done this afternoon. The winds are picking up, southwest wind, so sit back and see what happens. Ralph and I are hunting in the same spot here with Ron and uh, we'll see what goes on. It happens, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? It happens a lot to everyone. It doesn't just happen to me. Have you ever missed? 
Absolutely. Okay, so there. It's fun, yeah. I it, have a, it I have really a nice is. caliber. Okay. What do you like? Breast. Thank you. Uh, bless it, Ralph. Sure. Dear Lord, we ask you to bless this meal for the nourishment of our bodies, Lord, and we want to thank you for giving us the opportunities to not only have the fellowship, but have the opportunities to, to possibly harvest some deer. Lord, we thank you for all that you allow us to witness and experience, and we hope that we're better people for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thank you. We are down here in Kentucky on one good friend of ours, Ron Reboot. He is the founder of WWO um, Wounded Warrior Outdoors. He's got a couple farms down here and he's just letting us on. It is muzzle loader season. But we're hunting with our hoits. We're here. We are trying to do some helping assisting him with some dough management. So I got Beeman's, I got Spitfires, and I got my oil bowl. muscle odor season here in Kentucky. So we took the traditions out and at 98 yards, I think we got it. Chad said we did, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Good deal. Happy oh. for you. <laughs> We're following, ha <laughs> ha, baby, woo! <laughs> Nice deer, huh? That's a nice deer. <laughs> Look how long his head is. That's an old deer. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, baby. That lady was singing. Oh, she sang well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, nice bread on it. Yeah, look at what that, look at what that, that bullet did. That's all. Yeah, he's a, uh, look at that, look at, look at. Look at that. Look at There she is. She's right there. Nice sized doe, huh? It came out. Right there is a Spitfire. And I'm going to tell you something. There's a whole lot of hype about different broadheads and different everything. This head has been out for 20 plus years. I might be off by a year or two, you know what I mean? Yeah. That thing has done everything you could ever hope for and then some. Y'all been watching us shoot these forever, forever. You can't 
show me a better wound and entrance than that. Well, it is my last day out and down here in Kentucky. I've got my traditions muzzle loader with me. We're off a shot in a buck and a doe. And I don't know, I'm just having issues. <laughs> Anyways, it's like 9.30 in the morning. Andrew and I are actually gonna sit here until about 1.30. We have snacks with us. If something doesn't happen by then, because right now we're kind of in over a bedding area, um, if it doesn't happen by 1.30ish, then Ron's gonna come get us in the tractor or the buggy and take us actually down to that food plot that we can watch from here. Who knows? Maybe while the boys are back at camp right now doing some processing on Ralph's deer, maybe we can send them some more their way. That's what I'm hoping for, you never know. going to come with the tractor pick us up here we're going to hang on one side of the tractor he's going to drive us down to that other blind there on that food plot we're going to get off as quietly as possible sneak up into that blind and hope that they move themselves over to where that you know come in and feed on that plot I think I want to cry. Oh man, good job, Vicky. Nice shot. We have been hunting hard. I mean, we've had this buck in two nights in a row. Just, it wasn't working out. And tonight, he finally came out. And my traditions did what it needed to. He's down right there. There's like no tracking him. Like, we saw him go down. That was so cool. How's hey. it going? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That's Ron, awesome. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Congratulations. It was well earned, I you think. You hung tough. <laughs> He's right over here. Yeah. I think we see him. You do see him. <laughs> Here's what's funny. That How far was your bow in, shot? My bow shot was like 26 yards, 28 yards. How far yards. was your muzzleloader shot? Like 10. Oh. <laughs> so in other words, even if the slug didn't kill him, he would have choked on the smoke and died. That's horrible. <laughs> Just saying. Come on, Ron. All right. Oh, Vic. He's the one. His tines are touching. Yep, look at him. This guy has given me a fight for the last <laughs> three nights. I mean, we've been hunting out here. This is day eight yep. of my hunt down here in Kentucky. I mean, we were down to the last minute of the last night of my hunt. And, then, <laughs> and he came through. And, and we say that a lot we because say that it a happens lot, a lot. And that's what happens. And this is just my fault. This is my deer season. My whole fall has just been like last minute or maybe it just doesn't happen. And I really and truly was starting to think maybe. You, you know what I think? Maybe I needed a new career, but. Um, <laughs> well, he's definitely one that needed to be shot. It was his time. Beautiful material. Pretty awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Ron. Oh. Appreciate it. Thanks for oh, letting me stick it out you. here. And thank you. Proud of you. All you right, stuck so it out, you and Andrew, and even in this crappy weather. Wow, what an adventure on the Bluegrass State. 
You know what? We had a lot of fun, a lot of action, oh my a lot gosh. of activity. We filled freezers up. While like you crazy. were still hunting, Ron and I processed the deer. I mean, we had a blast yeah. doing it all. And Everyone in camp. He's got his all his little spices and everything. I know. He's all set up. That little he, that that dude's all set up. He is. Ron's ready for anything. Anything. Yeah. Yep. Ron, thanks again for letting us come on down there and hunt with you. Bottom line, we had a great trip, and I mean that's what it's about. So thanks for making your choice. The choice, and we'll see you next week.